All right, well, here we are. Um, it's uh, Wednesday, June 1st. And what started? May 29th. There were two beautiful trees, shade trees, that we had in the front yard. Been here for years and years. If so we walk around, you'll notice they're not here no more. As you notice, the birds are not singing today because they lost the tree that was standing in this sawdust. Same thing over here. The birds are confused. The little ones hopefully got away. There was a tornado. Gone with the wind, the promised land came back once again. And so, another rainstorm's coming up. The most important thing, people, is for you what to do uh, when you're thinking that you're safe from a tornado, when you're safe from uh, being captured. Here's another tree. There's the grave site where the big tree that's been 30 years. Standing. Here's a tree that was pulled out of its roots and hit the power lines. And as you can see, the power lines are still down. They were cut off. They were alive. Power lines for over 24 hours trying to get in touch with the proper authorities so the kids will not get electrocuted. Uh, I hope. I'm afraid that they're all off. Oh! I'm just kidding with you. Here it is. We got another one. What to do when you're in the situation? Most importantly, is we're going to talk about how to make sure that your home owner's insurance covers wind damages when it doesn't actually damage the house, but it damages everything in the front yard to make you have to cut down three gorgeous trees that hundreds of birds used as homes and what you have to understand is a lot of these homeowner insurance companies don't tell you about if you're covered with flood or wind damage and so therefore you might have to be responsible for having these individuals to come and kill your trees and take the trees and pay for the trees yourself. We're going to make this change. You need to have it in big, bold, red letters when you go and get your homeowner's insurance to make sure that your tornadoes are covered Flood's not covered, or wind damage's not covered, you need to get yourself a contractual situation of an insurance company that provides those services for you, like an extended contract, warranty, or something like that. All right, don't let this happen to you again. This house stands, the trees do not. Back at you later.